and the sky was still. Every object could be charted, tracked, and explained. That illusion shattered last month. Through the void came something cold, angular perfect in its movement, distant in its origin, and empty of purpose. No comet. No asteroid. Something else. Something that broke every law of nature. We thought we understood the heavens. We were wrong. Astronomers called it Three Atlas, though the name failed to capture the tension it brought with it. This was no drifting rock. Its motion was too precise. Its surface reflected too much light for its size. It spun not like debris, but with intention, like a machine. When the James Webb Space Telescope captured the first images, it did more than send pixels. It sent a warning. We may not be alone. Maybe we never were. And maybe something has been watching. At first, it appeared as nothing more than a flicker another fast-moving dot across the night. But automated telescopes triangulated its path and the truth emerged. It wasn't just fast, it was impossibly fast. 152,000 miles per hour cutting through space on a hyperbolic path. That meant only one thing. It came from beyond our solar system. Other interstellar visitors had been suspected before. But this one was different. Instead of plunging in from the chaotic outskirts, it slid in parallel to the plane of the solar system threading between the orbits of the inner planets. Stranger still, its closest approach was timed for when Earth was hidden on the far side of the Sun. That wasn't coincidence. That was strategy. Its trajectory traced not to the Cooper Belt or Oort Cloud, but to a region near the galactic core. No natural object should have survived such a journey intact, let alone with such control. Webb was rerouted. From its vantage beyond the moon, its instruments confirmed the impossible. The object wasn't rock or ice. It was small, but far too reflective, polished, metallic, artificial. Spectral readings revealed no dust, no tail, no outgassing. Instead, its surface redistributed heat in patterns like shielding. One section remained consistently cooler, as though protecting something inside. And its motion was wrong. Not tumbling, not chaotic. Balanced. Rhythmic. Turning with precision, keeping its orientation locked to the sun. Thermal imaging revealed pulses of heat, regulated like a system at work. That was the moment the realization struck. We weren't watching a rock. We were watching a vehicle. As weeks passed, Webb's observations deepened the mystery. Most objects are slaves to gravity, not this. It corrected its course glenly, deliberately without visible propulsion. No jets, no interaction with solar wind. It acted as if it was aware. The debates that raged over Amoamua years ago returned, but this time the evidence was undeniable. Harvard's Abby Loeb, who had once speculated Aumuamua might be artificial, demanded immediate investigation. Non-gravitational acceleration was detected. Not random, but responsive. When sunlight grew intense, it rotated to minimize heat. In magnetic fields, it slowed as if adapting. Not survival. Navigation. The silence was worse than the movement. High-resolution data revealed faint electromagnetic anomalies. At first dismissed as noise, they resolved into patterns prime numbers, Fibonacci sequences, not random radiation. Information. The pulses weren't aimed at Earth. They spread evenly in every direction, like a beacon maintaining a connection with something or someone else. Analysis of its layered outer shell revealed materials unknown to Earth. Metamaterials surfaces that could manipulate electromagnetic fields, conceal themselves, adapt in real time. And with each revelation, one theory grew more terrifying. This might not be the first time. Maybe such things had passed through our skies before unseen, unnoticed. But this was the first time we caught one watching. Irregular, but not spherical like an asteroid, more like a comet. Instead, it exhibited panels that appeared to have angular symmetry, shifting orientation based on the object's alignment with the sun. These were not erratic motions, they were adaptive behaviors similar to biological reflexes. The object's rotation was unaffected by a constant axis like a spacecraft utilizing internal stabilization through gyroscopy. 
Even more intriguing was the situation when patterns changed and a portion of its surface moved in a smooth, synchronized motion. There weren't any gears, no visible mechanical parts. It was as if the outer shell itself was alive, responding appropriately to stimuli, much like living cells adapting to heat or light. This led to a radical theory within the astronomy community. What if 3i Atlas was more than just a machine, a hybrid species? A synthesis of biological and artificial components not just designed to survive the universe but to adapt and develop within it. A type of life in deep space not built, not born. Then, just as the evidence became overwhelming, everything went dark. Observation logs that had been open to the public were disabled. Live feeds from key observatories went dormant. The ESA. NASA and other major space agencies issued contradictory statements, highlighting the need for cautious analysis but offering no updates. Scientists who had been vocal in the early stages of observations stopped appearing in interviews. Behind closed doors, access to the most sensitive infrared data on the Webb telescope was restricted under national security directives. This was more than containment, it was suppression. Journalists filing FOIA requests were met with blanket denials. Internal memos that leaked suggested something to volatile to release to the public something that could shake not only astronomy but humanity itself. Thus, the information freeze was initiated not from confusion but from fear. Fear that if this thing wasn't just a wandering relic, then it might be operational. That it might be watching. Or worse, waiting. In the silence, new theories emerged. The surface of 3i Atlas was no longer regarded as simple rock or dust. Maybe it wasn't a visitor. Maybe it was an evaluator. And maybe the world had just failed or passed a test it never knew it was taking. While official channels remained silent, a small group of independent astrophysicists and AI specialists examined the final datasets released before the blackout. Buried within Webb's most sensitive thermal readings, they discovered something to precise to be random. The object's surface temperature wasn't static. It pulsed not like a dying star, not like thermal decay, but in a rhythmic pattern. A series of heat signatures, spaced at prime number intervals, formed a mathematical structure and encoded message. And this message wasn't transmitted outward like a broadcast. It was woven into the object itself, encoded in its own thermal behavior. The implication was staggering. Not only was 3i Atlas communicating it was doing so in a language so advanced that only machine learning algorithms could identify it. If the message was real, it wasn't meant to be heard. It was meant to be decoded by us at this exact stage in our technological evolution, which meant the object was aware that we would be watching. The final action taken by 3i Atlas, or at least the last one we were allowed to see was perhaps the most terrifying. After months of silent motion, it executed a trajectory change. Not a tumble, not a planetary slingshot, but a controlled, silent, precise arc carrying it out of the solar system at a steeper angle toward a rendezvous point. This maneuver defied gravitational mechanics. It wasn't drifting, it was departing. Scientists calculated that this new path led toward a region of space almost completely empty. No stars. No planets. Nothing of known interest. Which raised a frightening possibility. Perhaps the void wasn't empty at all. Perhaps it was a signal drop-off point or worse, a relay station. A place where whatever 3i Atlas had recorded could be handed off to something else. And then it was gone. Still recognizable, but fading. Silent. Watching without eyes. Listening without ears. It had come. It had observed. And now it was gone leaving behind only questions. Heat trails. And fear. It didn't flash lights. It didn't make noise. It didn't approach Earth. It didn't beam signals. What it did was far more disturbing. It came in silence. Moved with purpose. Held our attention. And then vanished. And as it returned to the void it came from. A chilling realization sank in across laboratories, observatories, and control rooms on Earth. We had not witnessed a random visitor. The evidence non-gravitational maneuvers, prime number heat pulses, thermal encoding none of it was random. It pointed to intelligence, to design, to observation. And if something is built to observe, then it must also be built to interpret. Maybe it was testing us, 
Maybe it was verifying if we were ready, or maybe it wasn't here for us at all, but we saw it anyway, and everything changed. The James Webb Telescope wasn't meant to capture this. It was built to look into the past to study stars billions of years old. Instead, it revealed an active, functioning object in our present, something not of this Earth, something operating in our system just beyond our reach, and in doing so, it may have let us step through a door we were not ready for, because there is no turning back. The silence of the cosmos has been broken not by a transmission, but by a presence. Whether 3 I Atlas was a scout, a messenger, or something else entirely, it left a mark, a shift in perception, a scar in our sense of isolation. We are no longer alone not because we made contact, but because we were seen. And the most terrifying part? It never needed to say a word.